Maths today, it will come as no surprise that again we are doing the grid method. As I keep saying, the grid method is really, really useful. Upper two use this method a lot, um, all the way through, particularly in the exams. If they get a tricky question, it's a really good system to fall back on and doesn't actually take you very long at all to draw that grid out, and it really helps you get the correct answers. So we're carrying on with our work with grid method today. And because we've already done the times table test and warm up, we're just going to work through two examples before uh, you do some work. So this time we're going to be multiplying three digits by one digit. To draw the grid out, you just need one extra column of squares and partition your number. Pause the video while you're doing this. Your partition number should look like this. 100, 30, and 2 in the top, and 4 goes underneath the multiplication sign. Now pause the video while you complete these multiplications. So 4 times 100 is 400, 4 times 30 is 120, and 4 times 2 is 8. Now add them all together. Pause the video whilst you do this. So 400 plus 120 makes 520, add 8 more is 528. And write your answer, remember to write it where the question is, otherwise you simply won't get it right. Let's do one more example together. So draw your grid, pause the video and petition your number and then do the workings out and then Start the video and we'll see if you got it correct. This was a bit of a trickier one. 5 times 200 is 1,000. 5 times 2, remember, is 10. And as 200's got two zeros in it, 5 times 200 would be 1,000. 5 times 5 is 25, so 5 times 50 is 250. 5 times 3 is 15. So add all those together and you get 1,265. Very well done if you got that right because that's quite a tricky one to do. Write the LO in your book and the short date. The LO is multiplying using the grid method. Then pause the video and work your way through the sums. When you have completed it, Press play again and get a colour pencil and we'll mark them together. I have placed an online game for you to do in the abacus if you have finished with time to spare. Right, with your coloured pencil in hand, please mark your answers. So number one is 220. Number two is 117. Number three is 172. Number four, 108. Number five, 156. Number six, 141. Number seven, 405. Number eight, 492. Number nine, 730. Number 10, 705. Number 11, 672. And finally, number 12, 252 times 5 is 1260. Well done if you got them all right. Award yourself some house points depending on how hard you think you tried.